a I padlock. would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. Well, it's closed, my friend. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. And also closed. I think the more important part is the fact Try that it is closed. Right oh my god. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, fuck. How did I... What? I took no damage. <laughs> Every time I attack, he just drops his shield. It's like it's like a bug. Are we are we going for an explore? We Dora now. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> okay, let's go this way. Okay, I'm up against the wall. Oh, well, he's fucking dead. Booyah! That's a shortcut. So, um, you may be wondering. This is not the sorcerer, and you're absolutely right. This is not the sorcerer. This is not the character I've been playing up until the point, uh, up until this point. And the reason for that is. In the previous stream, I fought Margit the Fellowman and beat him relatively easily. He wasn't too challenging. It was after that that I was informed by both my brother and my chat that Margit was considered to be one of the hardest bosses in the game or one of the biggest roadblocks in the game. So that surprised me because Margit felt straightforward. And not just because I was playing a ranged character. He certainly felt like he was easier as a ranged character, but I was curious enough that I was like, you know what, fuck it. I want to see what this boss is actually like you know, as a low-level melee character. So what I did, I booted up a new character, that's the bandit you see before you, and I basically blasted through the game to fight three bosses in particular. The first was the Tree Sentinel, the second was the Crucible Knight, and the third was Margit. The Tree Sentinel, I discovered, much harder in melee. I suspected that was the case. Completely true, he's way harder in melee. Took me a lot longer with the bandit than it did with the Sorcerer. Crucible Knight, as I had surmised when I fought him as a Sorcerer, the opposite way, way easier in melee. And then Margit came along. I haven't actually beaten Margit yet, um, but I att I've attempted Margit about four, five, I think I think it's, it was five times last night. I do think Margit is notably easier with a ranged character, because there's long stretches of the fight where Margit just stands there. But I'm still... I have a theory as to why he's considered to be so hard, and I don't think it's because the boss itself is that hard. He actually leaves pretty substantial openings. Uh, for melee characters to punish. Yeah, so I'm going to drop in there and fight Margit. I might, I might, it might take a couple of attempts for me to get um, the rhythm down. But I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Have I still seriously not got the sixth flask? What the fuck am I doing with my life? Okay, so I mean, obviously, those can catch you out, but they're very easy to avoid. This is his most punishable attack. He never follows it up. You can get a full charged attack in there. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, the daggers are annoying. But they don't do too much damage. They're more sort of like little chippy things. They do. Now this attack is very punishable as well. You just have to make sure to dodge both and you can get a jump attack in like that. Uh, he always leaves a big opening after that one. I don't want to be talking too much because I do actually need to concentrate on this boss. He's, he's certainly not easy. Uh, but I would say I, do, I don't think he's meme hard. I think that's sort of the important distinction. Good boy. Thank you. And you'll also notice, so this character is low level. Um, I think I've leveled up, I've leveled up strength eight times, and I've got a plus one weapon. So this is like, the sort of most basic shit you'd expect from an early game character. But, uh, yeah, I want to talk about phase two when we get into phase two. Just so I can kind of show you what I mean, because his openings don't actually change in phase two, it's just that he gains a shitload of extra attacks which don't have openings. So it kind of complicates things. Ooh, actually, one important thing back away from him like this. This is what I found. All of the attacks which leave openings are attacks where he, like, closes with you. So you want to be far away from him, to, to bait him into those attacks. A lot of his close range attacks don't leave good openings. He's just... See, look at this. If I was playing a ranged character, I'd be attacking him this whole time. Crazy. Yeah, a lot of... Uh, yeah, that, I think that's, that's a very important detail, is that you want to kind of force him to close with you because that's when he leaves himself most open. I wish he could jump off the edge. There we go. Phase two. Now this is his only attack that he gains in phase two that's punishable. And an important detail that I learned from phase two is that basically none of the attacks where he pulls out a, a golden weapon at close range are punishable. They're just straight up not. This is the only one that's punishable. So your best bet is to just, whenever he pulls out a golden glowing weapon and you're next to him, roll away. Just get out of range. Don't try and, like, dodge every hit in the combo and punish. Just wait for the big openings, because he's got a few. See, this attack, 
is just as big of an opening in phase two as it is in phase one. Yeah, so he pulls out a glowing weapon, just get the fuck out of there. Those are really difficult to punish in melee, so just don't try. There's no need to. Keep backing up, let him close. Yeah, see? These combos, he just he's forced to stop them. It does mean the fight's slower, but you, you gotta take things slow sometimes in Dark Souls. Oh, you do need to be ready to um get the fuck out of there. I thought I was getting out of range there. Never mind. He just knocked off my rhythm, which is unfortunate. Oh, and it's all it is also worth noting, you are supposed to be higher level and have a better weapon when you fight this guy than I am doing right now. This is a character that's pretty much straight off the bat. As I say, plus one weapon, only eight level ups, like. My damage is ass. If your damage is this low, don't fight this guy. Yeah, that, that one which he, where he does the kind of staff slam, unfortunately, we do lose that in phase two because it gets replaced by the big hammer slam. Which is still an opening, but less than anything. I, yeah, I was way fucking slow with punching that attack. And uh, yeah, if you're ever bored, just taunt him by blocking repeatedly. That baits him into attacks. It doesn't, by the way. But it makes me feel good. Can I punish that? No. And I'm one hit point. I don't think I'm going to win this time either. I've just won. I need to get the... Remind me when I respawn to pick up the six blast. Because I'm currently dead to a dagger, which ain't great. See, that, that one I find very hard to dodge. The one where he does, like, the long sword one, two. Because the issue with it is that it's one, two, three. And if you dodge the two, three, like, the if you dodge the two, the three hits you. So there's got to be, there's got to be a way to dodge both. Yeah, I suppose this is the part that will put people off fighting him. This is the part that a lot of people would find difficult is the part where you just have to literally stand there and wait for him to hit you instead of going in and fighting proactively. Because a boss which is like a counter-attack boss that also isn't particularly relentless is just kind of annoying. Like, look at this. You know? You can't risk attacking him because he'll counter you. But, um, it's taking fucking ages to actually attack. That attack, fortunately, fucking hell, I thought I had time to scratch. <laughs> fortunately gives you ample time to um, to get away when he pulls out the hammer and does the melee attack with it. Can't believe I just lost a flask because I wanted to scratch my face. And this little bastard didn't give me the time to do that. It's like he's punishing my actions out of game as well as in game. Is he going to dagger me as soon as I try and drink? Yes. Oh, if you're far enough away and you're strafing sideways when you drink, it misses. That's good. Yes! I can scratch now. Ah, oh, perfect. Little bastard. This is tricky. I have to find opportunities in boss fights, not only to counterattack, not only to heal, but also potentially to scratch my face and drink tea. It's a challenge. Perfect. Well, you motherfucker. Fucking frame rate, man. I just dropped some frames in the game, which was frustrating. Oh, that attack has a longer range than I thought it did. Shit. Okay. So I need to get distance so I can actually heal without getting fucked. Nice. Yeah, I mean, if he goes for a dagger, we're fucking fine. Okay, cool. And we should be able to kill him now. The way I would have lost would be if he'd managed to fucking combo me there. No, he's dead. Unless I fucked up his dodge, which I didn't. Okay, okay. So, that's Margit as a melee character. So, um, I just wanted to do that as, like, a little introduction to this, um, to this stream and, I guess, to this video. Uh, just to talk about, like, Margit. So, as I say, overall, I think that is a challenging boss, but not necessarily a meme-worthily difficult boss. I think, uh, if you come at a, an appropriate level. I think at this level, it is, and that's, that's sort of the point. Is I think the reason why this became a meme is twofold. First, the game sends you here immediately. If I wanted to, if I wanted to just sort of progress in the game, like, someone who isn't, you know, particularly trying to speedrun could probably get to this boss in, like, certainly within the first hour, probably within the first, like, 30 to 40 minutes, you know, quite easily. So anyone coming in at the start and attempting to take this guy on will get absolutely fucked. Especially if, and this is the second part of my theory, 
they're a brand new player. Now, Elden Ring's popularity has caused a huge influx of players, brand new players, people who've never played a Dark Souls game before, no, people who've never played a From Software game before, who are then running into... See, the first three bosses you'll run into playing this game normally are the boss you're supposed to lose to, the Tree Sentinel, and Margit. That is insane game design. Like, From Software actually designed this game so that the first three bosses are all bosses you're either supposed to lose to or are not supposed to fight. And it seems like the boss is just this unbeatable wall, because this one, unlike the others, this one's compulsory. You have to beat him to go where the game is telling you to go. So, yeah, I think that's the reason why Margaret is such a is such a meme. It's not necessarily because he's an inherently hard boss. It's kind of like the Dancer. The Dancer was known for being very, very hard. But the Dancer's only hard if you fight her before you're supposed to. Like, if you fight the Dancer at the point when you're supposed to, when you get summoned to her arena, she's actually pretty straightforward. She deals a lot of damage, but she's not got a ton of health. And you should be able to take the hits if you're, you know, of an appropriate level to actually fight the Dancer. I think that those are, those are my thoughts on the Margit fight. Also, I just kind of wanted to sort of showcase a few of the things I'd learned about, like, dodging and punishing Margit as a melee character. That was a little, uh, diversion. We are now returning to the Sorcerer. Okay. Now, let's see if I can remember what the fuck was going on. Oh, yes, I just killed the big old spider boss. Now, see, this is my question, is they talk about being grafted onto the spider. Is there only one? Because people were referring to it as the spider. But, um, this seems like way too many bodies for one spider. I mean, I guess there's all those weird limbs and stuff floating from the ceiling. But also, why was it where you fight it at the start? Unless that's, like, really nearby. I still got the fucking holy weapon, haven't I? God damn it. Okay, at some point, I'm going to remember to fix that. Standard shield strats. <clears throat> nice. God damn. The fact that they combo, like, the enemies which always block, which is annoying and a problem and difficult to deal with, with weapons that thrust and you can therefore walk around, it's just perfect. It's the perfect combination because the best way to punish a shield is to just walk in circles around them. And what kind of weapon can you dodge by simply walking in circles? Well, a spear. <laughs> and it, it just works. It's like, it, it's perfect. It's a match made in heaven. For uh, murdering them, of course. Okay, so where's this? Because remember, that's where I dropped down into... Ooh. Oh, my word. Good old dog souls, eh? Not only are they tough, they're good at dodging. Yeah, dogs are rough to fight um, with a sorcerer. I mean, they're off to fight with basically every character, but you're just never going to hit dogs with, with sorceries. Like, ever. Can I just get him stuck on a pillar and do this? That seems pretty good. Nice. Heard you like cheese. Okay. Using two flasks on that fight isn't ideal, but hey, I'm going to get the loot, so who gives a shit? Chrysalid's Memento. Okay. This seems like this might be a, an important thing. Okay. I think I want to give this to Rodrika. She wanted me to pass a message on to the chrysalids, so... If there's a memento of them, presumably, they're fucking dead. Oh, I'm bad at dodging the halberd, it turns out. I was very low on um, health flasks anyway. I don't think I was going to make it much further than that. I like how it's got a, he's got a special death animation for when you kill him while he's in the middle of standing up. That was actually really cool. Hey, we've got a treasure chest. Okay, not a mimic. Probably. Unless they've changed that mechanic. Interesting. Not a mimic, but gives me a mimic thing. Is this... Please tell me this is an item that lets you, like, blend in. It, please tell me this is an item which get, lets you do the um, chameleon effect. Is it a consumable? Yes! We found it! <laughs> oh, you can't move quickly, though. Mm. I think sprinting breaks it. I wonder how far through the game I can get like this. Because I know it, like, reduces... In previous games, it does actually reduce enemy threat range. So you can sneak past enemies with Chameleon. As long as you don't get too close to them. Also, I swear to god, I'm lower resolution than the rest of the scenery in this game. Is that a deliberate choice? Are the chameleon guys always just lower resolution? I should really drink a flask, but I'm too busy being a bored. 
<laughs> I'm too bored. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sprint now. Ooh, look at this. How do I get there? There's a chest and an item. There's no way you can walk on this rope, right? No way. Nah. Worth a try. Don't you just love jumping and then you jump into a table and the table explodes? Classic. Oh, now we're here. Okay. Put your shield down. Every time. It's crazy. He's so accommodating. I did pick up my souls, right? Didn't I have 8,000 souls? Have I lost some souls somehow? How, did, how could that happen? Because I swear to God I had 8,000 before. And I haven't spent any. Is this somewhere I've been? Yeah, okay, so this is where I came from. Oh, we can just get over here. I didn't do this. Ooh, can I drop onto that? Looks like I might be able to. Can we just... Can we... Can we... Ah, god damn. Dropping off things in Dark Souls is always tricky. Okay, um, well I gained nothing by dropping onto here, looks like. Yeah, I thought this might have an opening or something, but I think the area below me is somewhere I haven't been yet. Yeah, this looks new. Oh, well, it's definitely new, obviously. This one new. Festering Bloody Finger. My god. What a revolting name for an item. Yes. Have you noticed they've got a cod piece? I hadn't noticed that. I... I I, I do, however, I do, however, wish to question the fact that you noticed that, and why you were observing the cod piece so closely. This guy, okay, they do have a cod piece, a giant cod piece. Okay, and this is a way to drop down to the main gate. You better not be wanting to fire that shit at me, my friend. Oh shit, there's two of them. Never mind. It's a problem. Oh, those guys are actually bigger. I didn't realize that. I thought they were just. <laughs> <laughs> he ducked and it hit his mate. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Now that is a hole in the roof, which suggests to me that it's a way to a special secret. However, until I find a bonfire, I'm disinclined to explore too much. Now I can kill this guy from up here, and that might be worth doing. But it's gonna. Eh, I don't know if I don't think I'm taking on the army right now, and it's gonna burn through a, a few spells. I think I'd rather save spells for a situation like this, for example. Now, I wonder how well I can take this guy in melee. Oh, that was a terrible one. And apparently a one-two punch as well, which I didn't expect. Okay. Ooh. Hey, he poised the fuck out of that. <laughs> it's the new iteration of Spin to Win. Everyone's favorite halberd mechanic. He goes for the stomp, choosing not to turn around, and then realizes realizes his mistake far too late. Hey, that's what I turn into. I think I do turn into a lower resolution version, right? Because hang on, let's compare this. Fucking look! I'm 360p. What is this oh, shit? Oh yeah, you're lower resolution. How's that supposed to fool anyone? You just look for the low res palette. Oh, I know. I've already dropped down into that area. So is it... Hang on, what? Is that the end of this path? Okay, I mean, yeah. I, I'm going to go back to that big old hole in the roof. Oh, I was just about to jump with B there. And by jump with B, I mean run off the edge. Because <laughs> B does not let you jump in this game. Okay, fuck. Of course. Thank you, FromSoft. Wooden Great Shield. I think that's my first Great Shield. I have no use for it. But it is my first Great Shield. The fact that you can just jump over things now just means there's so many more places to uh, explore. Okay, let's, um, yeah, we're going to need to kill a lot of these guys with a sword because I do not have enough magic to wipe out a fucking army. You know, I kind of wish I had a bow. What is that? Oh, he's guarding a chest. Is any has anyone else seen me? Is anyone else going to attack me? Hang on, let's kind of jog around up here. See if we can clear this area. Because we can clear this area and just fight that guy. That would be ideal. There's a bird there. Oh, shit. He saw me. Okay, he's figured out I'm here. Fuck. Oh, he's got a dog with him. That's actually, like, the worst case scenario. Holy shit. Because those dogs are tanky as well. Let's uh, duck around here. Oh, my God. He hits the dog. He hits the dog. He did damage to the dog. Oh, that. okay. Never mind. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you for killing your friend. Oh, God. He's good at dodging as well. That's I'm not used to that. 
large enemies, good at dodging, and I'm out of Cerulean Flask. So, yeah, we're going to use all of our magic to kill this guy, and then probably have to finish him off with a sword. There we go. Sword time. Fucking kick. I do 50 damage with the sword? Like, are you kidding me? Oh! Okay, that has better tracking than I thought. I thought I could just walk around it. I'm completely wrong. Oh, hey! Staggered him. Somehow. I wonder if that does that cons- Okay, hang on. Never mind. We're not fighting this guy. I just saw what's in that room. Bye! Oh, I wonder if you were gonna spot it. Now we're gonna fight this guy. Oh, that was pure luck, but hey, I'll take it. As was that. He just keeps missing me, and I appreciate it. I'm trying to go for the jumps, whatever. We just got a bonfire, so the fact that this guy murdered us doesn't fucking matter. We're just gonna go out and kill him anyway. Actually, first things first, we're gonna go upgrade our fucking weapons while I remember. Oh, while we're here. Hello, Rodrika. Tell her what the black. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, the blacksmith said something. According to the blacksmith, you do. I do remember that. Looks like I can't give her the mementos. Interesting. I might need to reload, I guess. So we'll, we'll try resting. Why are we fucking ferrying these conversations? Okay. I guess I go and talk to her now. Can you strengthen my shit, please? Um, obviously we're not selling any of these. Actually, I'm not planning on using any ashes, so I can probably just sell these. Yeah. Like, I don't know if they have further use, but yeah, I'm I'm not going to be using... I think I'm going to say I'm using no ashes in this playthrough. So I don't need their upgrade items. Oh, I can sell these. Great, I can sell wild strikes. That's fucking terrible. <laughs> what should we do with these? I should probably level up, I think. And you know what? You know what? Yeah, let's um, let's boost my strength slightly, so I can have a hundred percent physical damage negation shield. Because just incidentally blocking usually winds up being helpful. Okay, this is just a lift I can summon. It come from above. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, actually, you know what? I may end up editing this out, but given how how long I've been going for. I think this seems like a, the first good place to put in a YouTube outro and also take a quick break to make yourself a cup of tea. Um, so, yeah, didn't really manage to fight any good bosses this time, but uh, I guess I fought Margit again. That was fun. Margit is a fun boss. I do enjoy Margit. Um, that was good. But, yep, uh, so this is the outro. This is the end of the video. Uh, congratulations, you made it.